Welcome to my studio here on the south shores of Boston, Massachusetts. What a contrast from last week. Today it is cold and uh, it was actually snowing this morning, if you can believe it or not, contrasted from last week where it was, I don't know, I, I think it was like 70 degrees, it was sunny, I was on the, uh, in Nantasket on that ledge rock, climbing around, taking photographs. Wow, so I'm in, obviously I'm in the studio today, and this is not going to be a long vlog today, but I wanted to take a pause from a very busy week, and as always, thank you for that. Thank you for making me busy. Um, and what was the title of my picture that I posted yesterday? I posted a picture of me from, uh, ooh, when was that? 2000 and maybe that was 2008. Now, couldn't have been too, somewhere around there. Uh, and I was sitting at now the former Le Pommier restaurant of Pittsburgh, for all those who remember that restaurant, of fond, fond memories. I'm sitting in the stairwell with my artwork behind me. And you know what? I don't even know where that piece is right now. It was one of my favorite pieces of artwork and a collector. It's somewhere in Pittsburgh, unless that collector has moved. Um, I remember hanging it in their condo. Anyways, what was the title of my picture? Can anybody remind me? DM me. What was the title? Who is this art? Who, who has this art? Who, who is this artist today? Well, this is the artist today. And last week, I was sitting on that ledge rock with this awesome ocean view behind me. And I pointed out, because uh, a lot of people ask me, who is your inspiration? And I looked behind me and I said, this is my inspiration. And it is for a great part of my artwork. Now you have, uh, I don't know if the camera's seeing, but there's two huge canvases in front of me. They're both seascapes uh, that works in progress. So the ocean plays a huge part in my work. Um, and even my Enzo work, uh, <clears throat> just nature in general, plays a huge part in my work. And that's why I promote you know, planting trees and uh, cleaning the oceans, um, trying to give back to Mother Nature. Uh, our great Mother Earth, uh, trying to give back to her because, um, you know, we, I not only walk on her ground, I not only breathe her air, uh, but she gives me inspiration for me to paint. But I want to talk about some other really uh, important inspirations in my life. There are, of course, the greats. Uh, that have inspired so many countless artists before me and will continue after me. Uh, Mark Rothko, uh, Jackson Pollock, two huge foundational figures uh, in my art life. Georgia O'Keeffe, huge figure, profound figure in my art life. Um, so those, those are his, great historical figures. In my, in my life as an artist and continue to, continue to move me in many ways. Uh, Pablo Picasso, uh, his work ethic as an artist profoundly moves me. Uh, not so much his art, but his, the way he was as an artist. So, but two contemporary figures uh, who have moved my life as an artist. One uh, continues to live and touched me at a very young age, uh, my high school years. 
He has profoundly moved my art and continues to do so. Uh, and he's a wonderful artist in Ohio. The second contemporary figure, which many of you know, uh, Gary, who passed away. Uh, it's been a little over a week now. Profound influence on my art. Now, he's a completely dis different discipline. He was a potter. Uh, but again, his work ethic, like Pablo Picasso, uh, there's something, something about how he dove, like Pablo, how they dove into their art and submerged their life into their art profoundly moves my own lifestyle. I, I always told Gary many, many times, you are more of a monk than I am. <laughs> That's what I would tell him. You, are, you live more like a monk than I live like a monk. And, 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 and that's because he was so focused in on his art. And his art was a couple different things. I mean, he was, he was a profound potter, made stunning, stunning work uh, in, in the city of Pittsburgh. I mean, if, his, if he was in New York, it would have been a completely different story for him. Uh, pottery is so... Uh, you know, upper state New York, it's, it's, it's a different world, the pottery world. But right in the heart of Pittsburgh, there was, and it still is, Penn Avenue Pottery, but there was Gary uh, in, in that world of pottery and stunning work. And many, many, many different phases. You could see it in his work, the colors, uh, the way he sculpted into the clay, different sizes. He played with uh, li limited, he did a little mold work, and I purchased one of his first uh, pieces that he did uh, printed faces on. Uh, he only made a couple of those. But he also dove into landscaping and gardening and eco I don't, know, I don't know what you would call it, but this eco-friendly type of landscaping that he placed all of his uh, energy in also. And he did that in a couple different locations, uh, but his last one was up on the West End in, in Pittsburgh, uh, his home that he was, he, he purchased this house there and he started landscaping up the slopes of this house, uh, up the backyard. And then he started going horizontal, and he started purchasing all this land uh, this, from the city, these vacant lots. And he just made, he turned the land into art. It, it was profoundly moving. And the way he did it was profoundly moving. And then the third area that he really put a lot of energy in was his relationships with people, uh, from people who were in the store or people who visited, visited him uh, at, at his house and saw the wonderful things he was doing with nature in the back of his own place of living. Uh, and that's how, I, that's how I met Gary. I met Gary at the pottery a long time ago. It was probably uh, 2000, 2001 walked into the pottery and, I don't know, we clicked and we became the best of friends. So those are the influences in my art and I just wanted to share that with you today um, because people continually ask me what moves your art, what influences your art. So last week we touched base on Mother Nature, this week we touched base on a few individuals. And next week, maybe we'll talk more about our work. So until then, thank you again for keeping me busy and stay creative.